Right guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I'm just heading to the shops for a few bits, so I thought I'd do a quick update video with my 2013 Range Rover Vogue SE. I've got my bags for life, which I must admit makes me feel a little bit silly as I load them into the back of a V8 Range Rover. It's a little bit like cooking your dinner on a George Foreman grill and then just finishing it off in a deep fat fryer. In fact, it reminds me of that. Do you remember that Extinction Rebellion rally a couple of years ago when they interviewed Emma Thompson? And she admitted that she'd flown in for that rally all the way from Los Angeles. Business class, obviously. Anyway, every little helps, I suppose. I've had this car now for about 10 weeks and because we've been in lockdown for the best part of a month, I haven't used it much. In fact, I've only done 1,200 miles in it since I've owned it. But so far, so good. I've had no faults, no niggles, no glitches, no issues whatsoever. This one has the 4.4 litre turbo diesel V8 and I've been averaging 23 miles per gallon around town, which I think is really impressive for a big heavy tank. I mean, if you get this on the motorway, it'll do mid thirties. Now I've got used to it a bit more. There are some extras on it that I absolutely love. The Meridian sound system, for example, is the best I've ever heard in any car. It's superb. Some of the features that it has, like soft closed doors, radar cruise control, heated steering wheel, they're just extras that I now wouldn't want to live without. The only money I've spent on this car besides fuel is some side steps. It didn't have any when I bought it and getting in and out of it was a bit of a pain. And I didn't want to wear out the edge of the seat trying to, you know, hop in and out of it. So they were £189 on eBay and a few hours to fit. And although they're not genuine Land Rover products, I think they look really good. I wanted to go with a more subtle look for the side steps rather than go for some big blingy chrome bars. When I first bought this car, I'll be honest, I did slightly regret it for a couple of days. It just felt too big, cumbersome and just felt a little bit silly. But now I've got used to the size of it, I wouldn't change it for the world. You soon get used to it. I just love how much presence the Vogue has, it looks so much classier than the Sport. And also this 4.4 litre diesel V8 is a bit of a dark horse. The accelerator pedal has quite a bit of travel so you'd be forgiven for thinking it was a little bit sluggish around town. But when you get used to it and you start to put your foot down, you'll be, you'll be shocked at how, how fast this thing is. It really flies. There are a couple of things that I don't like. The fact that it doesn't have anywhere to keep my sunglasses is a little bit annoying. And also the electronic tailgate is a little bit pointless. I'm perfectly capable of opening the bottom part of the tailgate myself rather than waiting for an electronic motor to do it. But let's be honest, I'm just nitpicking there because the car is superb. So that's about it really. I thought I'd just give you a quick update video. I better go and join the queue at the supermarket now and wait to get in. You know what I've realized throughout this whole coronavirus situation is we're quite a resilient bunch. We soon just get on with it. We're very good at adapting and just making do. I mean, I know there are plenty of doom and gloom merchants out there who will tell you that when all this thing's over, we're going to be in a very dire situation. But I disagree. I think we'll all just adapt and overcome and, and get on with it. I think in three months' time, we'll be back to talking about the weather and how long the queue was at the bank. So thanks once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the link below. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. So cheers, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon.